Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome to Minami Lane, which is a gorgeous, cosy little management game where we build ourselves a street. We add shops, which we can customise quite a bit, we add decor, we complete quests to increase happiness, and we just make a really lovely street where people can go and have a nice time. And if that doesn't sound wonderful, I don't know what does. So here we are, we're going to give it a little go. Now this is the demo of the game, which is on Steam right now as I record this, and as always, if you're interested, there's a link to the Steam Store page, in the video description where you can go and check the game out a little bit more and also have a go at the demo if you would like to. But anyway, here we go. Let's jump right in and make a lovely lane. Okay, okay, here we go. And we've been joined by the little raccoon type creature that was dancing around on the menu screen. Look, they're over here now. Hello, new raccoon friend. I think that's a raccoon, isn't it? I'm fairly sure that's a raccoon. Hopefully I'm not making a fool of myself right now by completely misidentifying that animal. I'm fairly sure that's a raccoon. Although... I don't think that rounded bit on their head is a natural part of a raccoon. I think they might be wearing a hat, which is very exciting. They've got kind of the tied thing here, which I think is keeping the hat on their head. So I think it's a raccoon wearing a hat, which is wonderful because, you know, I do like a good hat. I do like a nice hat. And that looks like quite a big, impressive hat. So hello there, new hat wearing raccoon friend. How can we be of assistance? Welcome to Minami Lane. Thank you very much. This street is so sad and empty. Let's see if you can make a vibrant neighbourhood with me. Absolutely. Yes, let's give it a good go. I think that sounds like a good idea. Mission. Have 15 villagers and 75% satisfaction. Okay, that's fine. We can work toward that. And then we have to build a boba shop. And I'm going to put my hands up right now and admit that I don't know what a boba shop is. I don't even know what type of thing it is. Is it food? Is it drink? Is it plants? Is it products? Is it some sort of material? I don't know. I don't know what a boba shop sells. So by the end of this little adventure, I will have learned something. So that's going to be quite fun. And then the optional goal is to win in 10 days or less. Which, you know, if it happens, it happens. If not, I'm not that bothered. The way I see it, this game is a lovely kind of relaxing laid back game. I'm not going to be rushing around trying to complete the optional goals because, you know, it's supposed to be a lovely laid back thing. So, okay, let's give this a go, shall we? So, okay, little hat wearing raccoon friend, where do we begin? What are we going to do? Oh, look, it looks lovely. So right now, this is all we have. Can we zoom in and zoom out and such? There we go. So there's one little sort of house there. And then we've got a bit across the road and it's just got some sort of hedges and like a sort of, you know, a telegraph pole type thing and a lantern. And that's kind of it. So what do we have going on here? We've got 0% satisfaction. OK, so right now it is a little bit of a boring street, I will admit. I mean, you know, it looks OK. It's tidy. Let's put it that way. You know, it's tidy. There's no litter or such like. So, you know, it looks OK, but it's not very dramatic, is it? It's not very exciting. There's not a lot going on. So satisfaction currently at 0%. We've got 280 monies, which we can spend on new buildings and upgrades. We've got five villagers. Okay, so our goal was to get to 15. So we have to get 10 more people. And we've got zero beauty. Okay, we can absolutely work on that. I'm not having a street with zero beauty. And then over here mission objectives and then down here look got time of day so it's six in the morning and we're on day one okay so this bit here is kind of twinkling on and off so let us go and add a building okay this is going to be good so we can have oh we can choose these things right okay so we could have a little ramen shop and I do absolutely, utterly love a bowl of ramen. Oh, this is brilliant. Best place in the city to eat good noodles. So that's going to cost 100 of our 280 monies. Okay, what else do we have? We've got a little house. That's okay. Simple little house. Brings young people to your street. Okay, doesn't look too dissimilar to the one next door. And then we've got our oh, park. A little park. Look, it's got a bench and one of those things. I don't know what that is, like a little birdhouse or something, or a little kind of ornamental thing. But okay, a pocket park that adds beauty. We also do need five people, which we have, and 150 monies. Okay, oh, we've got a boba shop. Okay, there it is. People seem to love those delicious drinks. Okay, so it's a drink. So boba is a drink of some kind, plus two beauty. Ah, however, we can't get one of those because it, and we've got the money, but we haven't got the villagers and we haven't got the satisfaction. Okay, and then back to a ramen shop. I think 
we get a ramen shop in. I love ramen. I love a big bowl of ramen. Oh, it's brilliant. Okay, so, uh, yeah, 100 monies, please. Yeah, build one of those. Oh, and then look, we get to customise so many things. So, that's roof type 1. That's roof type 2. I quite like that. I quite like that. Not such a fan of that one. I quite like either that one or that one. Let's go for that one. Although, although, that one does get in the way of the writing on the signs there. So, you know, we'll have that one. Look, so, we can see that it says ramen. There's a little person there. And then we get to pick the roof colour. Can we try our very best to make it geek cupboard corporate colours? Yes, we can. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. Okay, so we've got a little geek cupboard corporate coloured ramen shop, which is wonderful. And then we okay that. Oh my, oh my word, we customised the food in the shop. This is the best thing. Um, oh, we can rename it. We can rename it. Okay, right, well, hang on. We've got to go and rename the ramen shop because ramen shop one just isn't acceptable. So, um, okay, right, let's edit the name of the shop. I think we call it Noodle Cupboard. I quite like that. I did want to call it The Noodle Cupboard, but there's a character limit going on and I couldn't fit The Noodle Cupboard in. It's too long. So I dropped The The and now we're back down to Noodle Cupboard, which I think sounds great. So we'll go for Noodle Cupboard and then we can look at what we're serving over in the Noodle Cupboard and it's a lovely bowl of ramen. I do like ramen. And I think this is showing us the amount of portions in our standard serving of ramen. So we've got one serving of noodles, one serving of pork, one serving of egg, and no shrimp. Okay, so if we add shrimp, what does that do? It actually appears, look, it appears over there. I think maybe for now, let's just sell a lovely pork ramen. So noodle, pork, and egg. It costs us four to make, and we sell it for seven. So each time we sell a bowl of this. We're making a profit of three whole dollars. That's so why we can up that a little bit if we want to. I think that seems okay for now. So if we just add it, if we add a bit more noodle, what happens? So we do that. Oh, it just becomes sort of, you know, noodlier and porkier and eggier. Okay, that might be a little bit much. I think maybe, yeah, drop that down and that down. Let's have it quite noodly and then just have one bit of pork and one egg in there. Okay, yeah, I like that. That seems pretty good. I like how it appears, look. It appears on the little drawing thing, which is wonderful. Okay, right. Done. And now there's a kind of a thing. Oh, shop management. Oh, that takes us back to that. Okay, so that's not like a repair thing. That's just saying that we can customise that if we want to. Okay. So I don't think we can build anything else. It looks like we have to build one thing at a time. Okay, so now our little lane, look, has got a house and a ramen shop and... We've been, we've been given a little kind of you know, speed sign thing there. Go at 40 along here. Okay, right. So start the day. So now what happens here? Right, satisfaction is creeping up because we have lovely noodles on the go. There is some rubbish. Ah, okay. Oh, the camera there. Oh, oh, it's you. Where did you go? <laughs> Hang on a minute. Hang on. Hang on. Our friend was there then. Hat wearing raccoon friend was around and they vanished. Oh, crikey, it's okay, but look, people are coming in 35, 36. Okay, satisfaction is creeping up. That is very good. Um, is there anything else we can do? Oh, daily report. Okay, so it's gone through to 8 p.m. And, okay, so we're still on for the optional mission right now. Uh, we, ah, Tanuki. Okay, is that what they're called? Is is that Tanuki? Okay, hi, Tanuki, how are you? Uh, so we found you once, and we collected one bit of trash. And yeah, all the satisfaction came from the street. Rather than a bonus or beauty on the street, it came from an actual thing. And five young folks came along and had some ramen. Lovely. Uh, we can look at the shop. We can see how the individual shop did. It made nine dollars. There you go. That, that's okay. That's fine. That's not too bad. And satisfaction. Not much going on in terms of beauty because we haven't got anything yet. Um, look at that shop prices though. Everybody very happy with that, which does make me think, do we up the price a little bit? We can pet cats. Oh, no, I didn't see that. Where are the cats? Where are the cats? Okay, so day two comes around. Um, is there a cat? I don't think there's a cat. Um, okay, can we up that a little bit? Can we up that a tiny, tiny bit? Because people were still okay with paying the money. So that should be all right. Right, add another building. So maybe not a ramen shop. Got one of them. Can't do a boba shop. A park would be wonderful, but I think maybe we get another house in. Let's get another house, shall we? So we can have house, and then the ramen place, then a house, and then maybe another thing. So we can have alternated. So house, 
thing, house thing, house thing. I think that's what we do. So yeah, we get 10 people coming in. And then if there's more people in the street, they're more likely to go over here and enjoy some delicious ramen. And that means we make a bit more money. So yeah, we'll do that, please. So build as a house. Do we get to customize the house? Yes, we do. This is wonderful. Um, we'll have, let's have that look to make it a bit different to that house there. We cannot, unfortunately, make it geek of a corporate color. So let's just pick an interesting color combo. Why not? I don't like that. That's quite, I like that. I quite like that. Yeah, we'll go for that, please. Okay, so now 10 people live here. 10 villagers now live around here, which is brilliant. Right, now I think we have to keep our eye out for things. So start the day. Right, I don't know what that was. That was, ah, that's Tanuki. Okay, hello there, Tanuki. How are you? Um, okay, keep an eye out for cats. Keep an eye out for litter. Anything going on? But no, there's quite a lot of people. Oh, look, those people were so happy. They were so happy. That person, can we see what they're doing? The street looks a bit bland, says Noah. Okay, we can work on it. There's a bit of rubbish there, which you can pick up. Street looks a bit bland. The price of the ramen at the noodle cupboard feels affordable. I think it's great. You are wise. You are wise and clever there. Well done, you. I wouldn't mind cleaning the gutter out a little bit. Need to go and weed the sort of gutter. Look, it's getting a little bit kind of a uh, little bit overgrown there. Right. Okay, we found Tanuki, we collected the bit of rubbish, but yeah, now we've got some more people around, which is good, and yes, made a little bit more money, which is wonderful, and then satisfaction, again, nothing from beauty, but yeah, I want to find a cat now, it's the, it says you can pet cats down here, I'm determined to find a cat and then pet it, I just don't know where they are, right, so the next thing comes along, so I had a building, so we've got the ramen shop again, Boba shop, we haven't quite got the satisfaction or the money. I think we might need to go for a park. That's going to make it look a little bit better. So we can have five beauty. We've got the five villagers and that's just going to make people happier. It's going to make people happier. Maybe more people come in and have a little look. So yeah, we'll have a park, please. Tree shapes. Oh yes, that is brilliant. We can have like autumn looking trees. Oh, that is wonderful. Okay, let's go for that. I quite like that. And um, I quite like, quite like those. They're quite nice. Yeah, do you know what? We'll go for that. Right, so now, now we've got, yeah, a bit of beauty going on. Is it worth popping into it? People seem quite happy with the pricing still. Can we just notch the price up of that a bit more? Let's just you know, keep nudging that up until people get a bit grumpy about it. And then we'll bring it back down again. So I think... Again, that's all we can do. So yeah, okay, right. Kick things off again. So hello, can we get some delicious ramen? Oh, there's a thing. There's some rubbish there. There's Tanuki. Hello, how are you? Right, what was that? Uh, right, the price of the ramen is good. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, the street is hip. Oh, okay, they said the street was hip. The parks are overcrowded. I wish there were more. I mean, I see more overcrowded places, to be honest, but okie doke. There you go, you're enjoying looking at the, um, looking at the park there. That's good. And you're thinking the price is great. And they sort of looked at each other and did a little kind of wiggly dance, which is wonderful. That's what we like to see. You're saying you're going to the noodle cupboard. Uh, the street is hip. All my friends hang out here. Yeah, this is the uh, hip hop and happening place to be around here. Okay, that was quite a successful day. We haven't got enough money to do anything, I don't think. I don't think we have enough money to actually go and do anything else. But I think that was pretty good. Right, so yep, we found the thing again. We picked up the trash. Uh, nothing too different there, I don't think. Made 30 in sales. Yeah, okay, fine. We don't found no cats, but beauty has gone up a bit. Okie doke. So now, can we do anything else? Can we add anything new? Uh, we've only got 98 monies, so I don't think we can afford to build anything. No, we can't afford to build anything today. Uh, there is a... Oh, hang on. A bike was going to appear just then, but it's gone because we're not building the building. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. Um, I don't think we can afford to build anything. So maybe just fly through today. Keep an eye on things. Just see what's going on. I quite like this. <laughs> I can't wait for different shops and restaurants to open around here. Me too. Me too. I want some different options to appear. Just, you know, keep things fresh. Keep us on our toes. Anything happening? Oh, hang on. There's a letter. Oh, it's you. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like a little sort of exciting letter popping up telling us to do this, that or the other. I'm looking out for the litter because 
Lift tiles appeared every other time. I love the way they meet each other and kind of hop up and down. <laughs> That's wonderful. Um, yeah, there was litter before, um, but I don't know where it is now. Have I just, is it, maybe they've not dropped any? Or maybe it's not visible. No, there it is. It's right there. Clean that up. Please get a tiny bit of money from it. Um, yeah, okay, that's good. So I think at yeah, the end of the day, nothing too different. Again, same sales. We petted no cats, bit of a sad thing. Right, so what do we go for now? What do we go for now? Because we can add a building. Uh, we can't do the boba shop because we need more satisfaction and we need a massive pile of money as well. Is it worth having another house to get up to 15 people? Oh, there's the bike, look. There's the bike across the street. So get it to 15 people. That's going to be a lot of people going to the ramen shop. And then maybe we can make some money from that to then invest in the park and then get ourselves, when the satisfaction ticks up because of the park, uh, get ourselves the boba shop thing. Maybe that's what we do. Right, so build that. We're going to make it look different to the other one. So it can have a roof like that and it can have that color roof and it can have green walls yeah there we go perfect right okay let's also just notch the price up a little bit in there John, let's let's do it so we make seven on each one going crazy there profit mungus uh, yeah we can't interact with the bike i thought that might sort of zoom around or something but no uh what are you all thinking uh, i can't wait for different shops absolutely you can't either i went to the noodle cupboard i would like less noodle in their ramen ah okay Ooh, banana skin get that for somebody tumbles over it um what are you saying i would like less noodle okay right so people are saying less noodle in the ramen yeah we can work on that that's okay we can sort that out yeah they've got like a non-plussed face over it um, i'd like more pork okay the parks are overcrowded i wish there were more me too me too my friend um have we seen ah no hang on camera grab that thing there we go uh right run time on a bit quicker because I think we're pretty much done. They were happy. The price feels fair. Okay, so maybe we need to notch the price down a bit. We did make quite a lot of money, but people weren't quite as jolly about it. Right. So, go to here. Maybe bring that down. And then just see what they say. Why would you want less noodles? Noodles are... The, the, well, and the broth really is the best bit. Like the sort of soup bit. But... The noodles are wonderful. I love noodles in a ramen. That, that's what ramen is, really. Um, okay, 154 money. So then do we add another park, which we can just afford, and that'll bring the satisfaction up, and then we should be able to save up our money and build the boba shop. Let's do that. Yeah, okay, so build. Uh, we will have a park with... Uh, let's have it with, uh, yeah, green trees. That's got the pin. We'll go for green and we'll go for that shape. Yeah, okay. So I think that's good. So beauty is now up to 10, which is marvellous. Start the day. There's the backpack with um, with Tanuki in. Uh, what are you saying? The street looks a bit bland. I'm trying, Charlotte. I'm trying my best. Time for me to go home. The street looks a bit bland. Time for me to go home. Um, I think I saw something out, uh, out of place on my way here. Um, is there a tanuki somewhere? Oh, is it a tanuki and not, that's not their name. They're not called tanuki. That's the type of thing they are. I'm not entirely sure. I don't know. But what are you saying? You want more pork and you want less noodle. Crikey. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll work on it. I'll work on it. Uh, oh, is that another bit of litter appearing down there? Have we now got more litter appearing because of the... Um, because of the increased size of the street and the people. I think we might, you know. Right, run time on nice and quick. Let's get through to the end of the day. Because I want to get the boba shop in and see what that's all about. I want to see what we do with that. But yeah, we can't get it in anytime soon. Uh, we did collect an extra bit of trash, though. We're not quite at 75% satisfaction. But I think the satisfaction will fly up when we get the boba shop in. We have got 15 youths around now. 48 monies. And satisfaction. Yeah, it looks okay. I'd like some more options to uh, sort of beautify the street a bit, if you like. I'd like to make it look a bit better. But I don't think we can get anything right now, can we? No. Everything costs at least 100 And the boba shop is 200 Yeah, okay. Do you know what? We'll have to wait to get that. So, 
just another regular day, I think. That's where you are. I think we get $30 every time you appear. So it's well worth finding you. How much do we get for litter? How much do we get for picking up a bit of litter? Making our street nice and tidy. Uh, people want less noodles. People are asking for less noodles. There we go. Oh, I didn't check the price. <laughs> and there's a bit there. 51. We get $5 for just tidying up, which is good. That's not so bad. Uh, your thoughts on the noodles? You feel good in the neighborhood. That's busy there, look. Uh, you want more pork? Okay. I think then, let's add, you think the price is affordable. That's good news. I think maybe what we'll do is, yep, so next, next, and close. So on day eight, uh, let's go to the ramen place and we'll drop the noodle and we'll add some pork. Okay, yeah, let's do that. And people were saying they want less noodles and more pork. Let's, yep, let's oblige. There you go. You're very welcome. And we're $20 away from getting a boba shop. Okay, I think we save up. We save up and get that sorted. So, uh, yeah, another day rolls around. There is, uh, there's our money as well. There's Tanuki. So we have the money to now get our boba shop sorted. So day nine, we might get that done. So we could possibly just, you know, inadvertently complete the, um, the sort of, uh, yeah, 10 day goal thing as well, which would be all right. I'd be quite happy with that. Right, wear some litter. Keep an eye out for bits of rubbish around the place. Can't see anything right now. I think people are being quite tidy. We need to put a bin, really. We need a little kind of bin. Oh, hang on, there it is. A bin over by the um, the ramen shop. And yeah, if people have got a bit of rubbish, they can just chuck it in the bin. That'd make sense, wouldn't it? But yeah, you got loads of money now. You can give us a final bit of money. 280 monies. How much did we make? 60 from sales. And then, of course, yeah, we get a little bit from the um, from Tanuki and a bit from tidying up. Okay, so now I think on day nine, we can get the boba shop. I start. Okay, <laughs> do you know what? We'll say we'll have some more money. It's going to be fine. I didn't mean to press start. I meant to press that thing at the top. Never mind. It's all fine. Uh, right, let's run through very quickly, look, because now we sort of know what we're doing. Although, actually, hang on. What are people thinking? Um, I want more pork. More? Good grief. You're saying it's quite good in terms of the price. Um, okay, more pork. We've already added more. Can you please uh, not walk in the road? Uh, my good my good friend there. Can you walk on the side? There we go. Thank you so much. Just yeah, in the interest of safety. Although we haven't seen a car come down here. So I think we're okay. Uh, right, yeah. Run time on quick. And I'll just try and do some tidying up. Is there any litter? Have we had the one bit today? Have we had two bits? Right. Okay, I'm going to make sure not to, uh, not to uh, press the wrong button next time. Uh, so go there. That ends. That. I'm going to put my mouse to the top of the screen. Add a building. Okay, so we can add the boba shop. We've got 68% satisfaction and we need 60. We've got plenty of money and we've got the required people. And it adds two beauty as well. So, okay, we'll build one of those. Oh, yes, it can be Geek Cupboard Corporate Colors. Perfect. Uh, we can have roof like that, roof like that, roof like that. Uh, yeah, the uh, the ramen shop's got a similar roof. So maybe that can be you know the, the international roof of trading or whatever. Okay, so we will have that, thank you. Boba shop one, and then we customise our boba too. Oh, it's like sort of bubble tea, whatever it is. I've never had it. I've never had it. But do you know what? It sells tea, and I am all for that. Okay, it's boba tea. Why don't you say the word tea on it, game? And I would have completely made a beeline to get this done quicker. It's tea. Um, okay, right, hang on. We're not going to call it boba shop one. Let's call it something else. I think we keep it simple and just call it TGCTs. I quite like that. You know what you're getting with that. You're getting some tea and it's being provided by the geek cupboard. So there we go. So what's going to be in our boba tea? So it's got two servings of tea. It's got two servings of sugar. It's got two servings of the little sort of tapioca ball type things. And it's got no cream. Okay, so I think immediately we add some more tea because that's going to make it significantly better because, you know, more tea is never a bad thing. So we'll have three lots of tea. I think two sugar. And I've never had a boba tea or a bubble tea, but I know people that have. And they say that the best bit, I said the best bit is the tea, but they said the best bit is the little sort of tapioca ball type thing. So maybe we'll add another serving of those. 
at the moment we're only making three dollars a piece what if we up that so sell it for thirteen dollars it costs us eight to sort of produce in the first place so we're going to make a profit of five dollars each time somebody has some lovely tea yeah i think we go for that there we go we are ready we are ready to roll oh look and there's a um there's a new sort of street sign on that side of the road okay i do wonder what they're looking at what is over here What's on this side of the road? I do not know. Right, so if we begin the day, now we need to keep a lookout for what people are saying about the boba tea. Also, we do want that to get up to 75, don't we? If we are going to complete the uh, yeah, finish it all in 10 days goal type thing. Oh, there we go. There's you, 260 money is very good. Oh, up to 69%. Yeah, bit of money coming in. Right, what do you think? What do you think? I just went to TGCTs. I would like less tapioca. Ah, so the price is good. Um, you want more cream. Oh, okay. Right, that wasn't what I was expecting. Uh, okay, we'll add some cream in, possibly. Let's just make sure we're cleaning up and you're keeping it tidy. 70% satisfaction now. 70%. That's pretty good. Uh, maybe. There's loads of people around as well. There's so many people that clean that up as well. How do we get that up to 75 how do we get that up anyway? The money's pouring in. This place is raking it in good grief. Um, I would like less tea. Emma, you're wrong. Emma, no, we're not listening to that advice. Away with you. Um, you think you saw tanuki. You want more cream. Okay, people are saying they would like cream in the boba tea. Okay, we can work on that. That's fine. We'll try and get that sorted. Don't you worry about that. We can add cream. What did you think very quickly? Um, less tapioca. Okay, right, we can do that, we can do that. Right, we haven't got to 75% satisfaction just yet. So we're not going to finish it in 10 days or less. I, I'm not that bothered. I'm not too fussed. Yeah, that's an optional thing. We've had fun, you know, sort of taking our time and looking at stuff. So we'll be all right. I did accidentally press that button at one point to move it on a day when we shouldn't have done, but never mind. Right, so that's pretty good. So yeah, shop prices, people are happy with that. Shop diversity, people are absolutely overjoyed. Shop recipes. Okay, so people are down a bit on the shop recipe. So as we saw, people wanted, if we go here, less of that and more of that. Okay, that seems fine. So we're selling it for 14 monies. So it's a little bit cheaper, um, but we're still making the same profit on it. So we're still getting the same money out of it, but people are just paying a tiny bit less. Yeah, okay, that seems pretty good. I think most people are happy with the ramen. Let's add another park. We like the parks. Oh, do we add a, uh, add a nice house? We haven't had a house for a while, have we? We've had a house, then park, then boba tea. Let's get another house. And then we can probably afford a park later on. So, um, yeah, go on. Build us a house, please. Where are the others? Let's just have a quick look. So, that one we'll have. We will have... I don't know, we're on a different type of... I know, we've got the different types of roofs now. That roof there. And we'll make it that colour roof. And we'll make it that colour wall. Well, that's already that colour, isn't it? That colour wall? Uh, well, that looks silly with that colour roof. Um, yeah, that, that, like that. There we go. That'll do. Okay. So now I've got 20 people here, which is good. So start the day and let's see if our changes to the boba tea recipe, the bubble tea, has made any difference what people think. We'll have that. Thank you. Very good. People hopping around. Very happy. Right, so we've found tanuki. So now it's just a case of tidying up. At 72. You would like less tea. Again, you're wrong. They want more cream. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you lot are very picky. There's loads of rubbish around now, though. I assume the rubbish, you know, more rubbish comes from more people. Um, okay, okay. Now this is all fine. We can work with this. We can work with this. There's some more rubbish there. Still on 72% satisfaction. How do we get that higher? Do we need another ramen shop? Maybe get another ramen shop in to offer some slightly different kind of things. Maybe put some, um, maybe have some, a ramen shop with like shrimp ramen going on. Maybe that's what we do. Uh, yeah. So if we look at that, yeah, shop recipes went up a little bit. If we could increase that, and then maybe increase the beauty as well. That would be quite good. I think then, let's get ourselves, add a building. Let's add a ramen shop. So build that. Um, we can't have it with reverse geek cupboard colours. Uh, it, it's from the same chain. It's from the same chain as that one. 
Um, and it's even going to have the same roof, which is that one there. Okay, well, that's fine. And then, I think, take out the pork, add the shrimp. Let's do that and price that at 10. Um, oh, no, we've got to give it a name. Okay, hang on a minute. Um, let me think of a new name for the ramen shop. Let's call it Use Your Noodle, which I think might be an exclusively British phrase. I don't know if other places around the world say that. So Use Your Noodle sort of means, you know, use your brain, think about it. So if something's gone wrong or you're in trouble with something or struggling, you go, oh, Use Your Noodle. Can you think about it? Think about it for a bit, put some effort in, in the brain there, and you'll get a solution. So we'll call it Use Your Noodle. I don't think anywhere else around the world says it. I'm not quite sure. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. But they go, Use Your Noodle can have shrimp, egg, and noodle. There we go. That will do. So that might possibly increase the satisfaction to over 75 because there's now a different kind of food option going on. Uh, we'll have that because that's a lovely bit of free money. Just tick time on a bit quicker. So look come down here come down here a new branch has opened up over here look of the uh, of the lovely ramen shops it's saying some slightly different ramen it's delicious i think as well after this if the satisfaction doesn't go up we'll get another park just to increase the beauty a bit more let's just do some cleaning up around the street nobody's going to that ramen place no oh, no you are there you go well done good choice was it nice what did you think uh, more pork in there, ramen. Ah, okay. We'll add some more pork in then, shall we? Okay, right. We'll have to work on that. So put some more pork in as well as the shrimp, possibly. We just throw it all in. Just chuck it all in. It's going to be fun. We've completely miserably failed the 10-day um, the thing. Definitely failed that. Struggling to get to 75 satisfaction. Uh, but yeah, okay, that's all fine. Yeah, see, beauty not looking too good beauty not looking great so here's the master plan go to here and add pork there we go that's fine so profit five that's all good and then we will add another park um and where are the other parks that park is yeah that's different again but we'll have some slightly different trees are the yellowy trees like that okay so now that should make it look a little bit more beautiful. So is that now going to get our satisfaction up? I do like it. I wish there were more different things. I want to build loads of new, different, exciting things. Uh, right, okay. Run time on. There's the letter for Tanuki. 73%. Come on. Come on, you lot. Be 2% happier with life. 74%. I think we've got it. I think we've got it. Maybe it was... Just, you know, a lack of beauty. There we go, 75%. Let me just keep on top of the uh, top of the litter picking because, you know, we want it to look nice around here. Can't see any more right now. Uh, there's a little bit there. Oh, there's a bit there, look. I didn't see that. It was kind of shining a bit. So, yeah, I didn't see it before. Um, but, yeah, I think we're going to be okay. 77%. Ah, oh, we're absolutely sorted now. Everybody's delighted with the street. They're all overjoyed with it. And there we go. I think, yeah, they're saying the noodles are nice and affordable. That's very good. Um, I think we're done. I think that sorted that out good and proper. Let's run time on until the end of the day. There we go. Uh, oh, let's move on to another street. Oh, okay. I thought that was kind of it, but okay. So yeah, done. Uh, we didn't we didn't do the optional mission though. <laughs> we did not do that because it's day 13. So it should not really be a tick just there, but that's fine. So, okay. Uh, yeah, they're very happy with us and their wonderful hat. We are done. And, you know, we made quite a good bit of money as well. We made a nice pile of money. So go to the next mission. I will admit I thought there was just one, but there we go. Youth and elderly. Only old people live here. And they told me they would love that to change. Can you make the street livelier by attracting younger neighbours? Mission. Reach two out of three young villagers. 80% satisfaction and earn 300 money per day. Win with eight buildings or less. Oh, crikey. Okay. New buildings. New buildings. Oh, this is very exciting. And now I've got a different villager type. There are elders. Okay. Each has different tastes. You might want to do multiple shops to satisfy everyone's needs. Villager thought saver. You can now save what your villagers think about your shops by clicking the save button. It will save each thought next to the shop they went to. Oh, that's quite handy. Okay. So what have we got? We've got, uh, I don't know what that is. What's that? That's, oh, that's just a house. Okay, that's a different type of house. Oh, we can upgrade it with either some more living space 
or make it pretty. Oh, that's lovely. They put plants around it. And then we've got that, which is, I assume, a park, you know, a different type of park. Okay, 100 monies to make it more beautiful. And then over here, we've got the ramen shop. We're not going to rename that because, yeah, you know, that might be like a family business or whatever. So we just leave that as it is. That's got three shrimp, two noodle and one egg. Okay, crikey. Okay, previous day satisfaction. The, uh, the elders were absolutely, utterly delighted with that. Right, so if we add a building, what can we do now? So modern house, five people, mostly youths. Okay, that's fine. Onsen. Oh, an onsen. I've heard of those. I've heard of onsens. Um... Okay, plus eight beauty. Wow. An elder mansion. That's for the old folks. A bookstore. Oh, yes. Oh, we can't have one. No game. Uh, got a ramen shop or a classic park. Uh, let's get the modern house in because we need some young people to move in, I think. So, uh, yeah, what was the goal again? Reach two out of three young villagers. What does that mean? <laughs> two out of three. Is there, a, is there a finite amount of young villagers? I'm not quite sure. Um, we will build that house. Uh, yeah, I don't know where. Are there any old folks around here? Do we need to build an old, an elder mansion? Do we need to build one of those? And they can live next to the ramen place. Yeah, let's do that. We'll build one of those. Um, we can't have it geek of a corporate. Let's make it exciting. There we go. That looks good. And then roof wise. Uh, I quite like the first one. I quite like that. Yeah, we'll go for that, look. And then we've got 200 money. And then we can upgrade. Oh, we can't upgrade that anymore. Can we upgrade that? Uh, we could upgrade that ah, to make it make more money. Is it worth doing that right now? And just maximise profit from that thing from the off? Um, yeah, do you know what? Let's do that. They stick a massive sign on the front of some ramen and chopsticks. Yeah, let's do that. Let's treat ourselves. We've got no money now at all, but everything's going to be fine. Right, start the day. So there comes Ethel. Okay, Ethel, I assume, is an elder. Uh, the ramen has the perfect recipe for me. There's Clarence, the elder. So that is an elder building. And oh, we should have built a youth building. Okay, but you know what? The elders can go to there and make a lot of money for us. Uh, right, keep an eye out for you. That's some free money. Thank you. Uh, right, tick time on until the end of the day. We'll go very quickly because now really we just have to keep an eye on litter, which I haven't seen any of at all. Okay, ah, there was none to do. <gasps> there was a cat. I didn't pet the cat. I'm sorry, everybody. I feel like I've let everybody down. But the shop did make a huge pile of money, which was great. Um, okay. Youths like low prices. I think we need to get a youth house. It, I just pressed start day again. <laughs> the but I, yeah, okay, right, I, uh, right, okay. No, I have no excuse. I was going to say, oh, the button should be at the top of the bottom, but no, it's got massive writing on it. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. We'll tick time on a bit. Uh, where is, where are all the things? Where's our friend? And where's the cat? I want to pet the cat. But yeah, where's our friend? Unless we've found them already. Where are they? Are they hiding? Where's raccoon friend? Or did we just click on them and I've just completely forgotten? We might have already clicked on them possibly. But okay, right, there we go. We'll get through to the end of the day, uh, which I think is eight o'clock, isn't it? So right, there we go. Uh, didn't pay any cats, didn't get any trash because there wasn't any. We've now got a bit of money to spend on things, though. And now I'm not going to press next day. <laughs> oh, look, there's a start day button down there. Let's not press that. Let's add a building instead. Right, a modern house. Yeah, build one of those. It can look like that. It can be entirely green. Okay. And then can we upgrade it for 300 money? No, we cannot. Can't upgrade that. Can we upgrade that? We can upgrade that for 100 money. Let's make the onsen just look a little bit prettier. So up to six, and that can just be done again and again. Now we can press start day. Uh, there is our friend. Hello. Keeping an eye out for a cat. Where's a cat? Yeah, so the the youth aren't going to be impressed with the ramen, I don't think. So we might need to get another ramen place um, just to keep the youth happy. Um, you can't help pet the street cats. Where are the street cats? Show me the street cats. I want to go and pet the cat, please. There's, there's rubbish everywhere. I'm collecting the litter all over the place, but there's not. There's no street cats. Where are the cats? 
Um, okay, that's fine. So yeah, it's making some good money. I think maybe shop diversity isn't looking great. So let's get a different shop in, shall we? It was a bookshop. Can we get a bookshop in? Because that sounds fantastic. Onsen Elder Mansion bookstore. We haven't got 60% satisfaction. Why would you do this to us, game? Um, how about then a park? Yeah, okay. Let's go for a park. Uh, we'll get some slightly lighter trees and we'll go for that. Yeah, okay. So that might get the beauty up, which might get the satisfaction up. Which means we can then potentially, let's kick things off, uh, we could then get a bookshop. I think that has to be our next big goal, get the bookshop sorted. Right, where is our friend? Ah, there we go, they're hiding over there. And is there a cat? Please reveal yourself, cat, if there is one. I'd like to go and pet a cat. I uh, can't see one anywhere, but never mind. I'll keep an eye out for litter because it keeps it tidy and also weirdly pays us money. There, there, there. Yes, I pet the cat. Yes, I can do it repeatedly. I know it, it sort of comes in a little bit and then goes away again. Oh, they're not there for long. I don't think anybody dropped any litter, did they? No? Oh, well done, folks. That was very tidy of you. Uh, and we pet one cat. Yay. Okay, beauty went up a little bit. That's pretty good. And now, yes, 62% over there of satisfaction, which means... We can get a bookshop. There we go. Yes, 250. When you got plenty of it. Uh, okay. What do I... Right, hang on. It's going to be Geek of a Corporate Colored, obviously. Uh, that type of roof. That type of roof. Let's go for that type of roof. Yeah, there we go. Right, okay that. Oh, we get to pick the three books. Oh, yes. Okay. Okay. So, we've got old folks and young folks. So, should we have comic books uh yeah sell that for yeah make a profit of three have novels so the comic books can be for the younger folks novels can be for the older folks and then i mean fantasy novels that can be for anybody anybody can enjoy a fantasy novel so or, or indeed any novels i suppose really but yeah i think we'll go for that look and maybe if we have enough money at some point open up another shop with the other three things in fact you know what take out the fantasy novels just put the language books in. So I have one with the left-hand three books. I have another one with the right-hand three books. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, okay. Hopefully that's going to be good. And I think as well, is it worth upgrading some buildings now? Just to maybe get some more people and more beauty and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, there you are. Thank you so much for your free, easy money. Wonderful. Uh, right. Let's hang on. There's a cat. There's a cat. Yes. Hello there, cat. Aren't you nice? Oh, I didn't realize you could zoom in quite so much. Oh, you can zoom really far in. Oh, look, it's so lovely. I imagine it's all hand-drawn. I imagine it's all sort of really lovely and sort of you know, painstakingly hand-drawn or you know, sort of done on, you know, like hand-drawn on a tablet or whatever, but it looks lovely. Look at it. It's very pretty. It's a very pretty game. Uh, right, let's get time ticking on a bit. Keep an eye out for litter. The money is coming in. Satisfaction is looking pretty good. Um, how are we doing in terms of our goals? We'll have to go and check in a bit. There's another cat there. Bit of litter. Bit of litter. Can you tidy up after yourselves, please? Stop dropping litter. Who's bringing bananas in? Who's bringing them from somewhere else? 80% satisfaction, I think, might be quite hard to do. Uh, but if we tick that on. So the book... Yeah, so hang on. So we need to look over here. So yeah, the people... Yeah, we've not got a good mix in the bookstore. Maybe we need to go all out youth set up with one and then elder set up with another. I think that's maybe what we have to do. And we might need the ramen shop as well. We didn't rename it. We didn't name rename the bookstore. It's just called Bookstore One. Uh, do you know what? Given it's been called that, let's call it Bookstore One, but with the word one to make it sound all kind of modern, exciting. Uh, another park might be a good idea. Shop recipes, though. That's possibly where we've fallen down a bit there. Um, I think as well, another youth house might be quite a good idea. So let's get another modern house. We'll have it with that type of roof and it can look like that. Yeah, okay, so that can be today's main building. And then we can upgrade things. Let's manage this shop. So, okay, so take all those things out. Right, so uh, manga. Young, young folks are going to like manga. 
they're going to like comic books and they're going to like fantasy novels. That's what I think the game is going to say. I mean, why an old person can't like a fantasy novel or some manga, I don't know. But I think that's how the game is going to split that up. So that's what we'll do with that in Bookstore 1. And then, yeah, we'll do some updates. Um, the bookshop could make a big pile of money. It could make a lot of money. Uh, we could upgrade the park. Uh, oh, it can have three villagers. How does how does the park have three villagers? <laughs> they live under the bridge? How does that work? What's going on there, game? That seems a bit weird. Um, or we could add three beauty to that house for 200 monies. Oh, that's quite nice. Look, they add a little bit on the front of the door and then add some plants and stuff. Um, or I think that's the same, isn't it? Oh, that's more expensive. Okay, let's add a bit of beauty via doing that. Look, there we go. So we spent quite a lot of money, but I think that's okay. Um, reach two out of three young villagers. We've got 10 and 12. I don't know what it means. What do you mean reach two out of three young villagers? <laughs> I think we should have that. We've got 10 years and 12 elders. We've got got plenty of that haven't we or does it mean get more ewes and elders i'm not quite sure okay we're still not quite there though right so begin the day let's go and find our friend there we go hello there lovely hat uh, right run time on until the end of the day we'll pet the cats and pick up the rubbish and all that kind of stuff and then we'll see where we are at the beginning of the next day okay got to the end of the day and in a bit of a surprise twist the old folks really like the books in the bookstore and the young folks do not that is a bit of a shocker, I'll be honest, but okay, okay, that's fine. So maybe now we need to get another ramen place in and make that a little bit more suited toward the young folks. Maybe that's what we're supposed to do. Is that what we're supposed to be getting on with? And does this tell us how to get two out of three young villagers? Plus four and plus one. I mean, yeah, it's looking all right, but I'm not quite sure how we... Uh, we've, we've, we earn 300 or more money per day. We've got that sorted now. Satisfaction will tick up as we sort out other bits. But yes, yeah, that first objective that I don't really understand. I'm not quite sure what we have to do. But yeah, okay, right. So what do we do today? Maybe we do some upgrades. We have got quite a chunk of money. So maybe let's upgrade... Uh, let's upgrade the other... The youth house here to have more youth in it. Just add... That's quite exciting. Another kind of story on top. So pop that in like that. And then we've got 100 money left. Can we? Oh, we can't grab the onsen again, can't we? That just adds plus one beauty. So yeah, we'll do that for our money. There we go. That's pretty good, isn't it? Right. Let's begin the day and we'll find our friend. Oh, our Tanuki friend is becoming harder and harder to find. Is that them? The game controller? Yes, there they are. Uh, right. Okay. So run time on. There's a cat down there. Pet the cat. Pet the cats, pick up the litter, and just see how things go. Okay, day eight has rolled around, and we've got a nice pile of money. And on the loading screen that appeared before day eight appeared, it did say that young people like low prices. So maybe now, let's press the right button, nearly didn't do it again. Let's get ourselves another ramen shop. So pop that in like that, and let's just make it look like that, because why not? I know that can be the Geek Cupboard one, actually. We can have another Geek Cupboard sort of, um, yeah, corporate one coming in. And uh, yeah, if we make them, um, let's call it Cheap Ramen. Can we have Cheap Ramen? Yay. Cheap Ramen, yay. Can we have an exclamation mark on it? No, alas, we cannot. So yeah, if we just make that fairly cheap, so noodle, pork, egg, relatively cheap nice and simple yes please then if we can upgrade that with 200 of our money to make it a little bit fancier there we go i quite like that and i don't think we can do anything else i think we need a bit more money to go and do more upgrades and things but um yeah okay let's see if we begin the day now there's our friend uh can we get satisfaction up now that we've got a place for the young people to go and get some lovely noodles. Ah, right, there's now a clear divide between who goes to the different ramen shops. Like the old days, the original ramen shop that was here when we started, that's now only frequented by the elders, and the young folk now go to Cheap Ramen Yay. So they're really happy with the price. Not so bothered about the recipe, though, so possibly we need to look at that. And then, yeah, I think maybe Beauty 
is also holding us back a little bit. So maybe, yeah, look at that. So shop prices, good. Shop diversity, good. Shop recipes could be better. So I think, yeah, if we could just improve that recipe a little bit for the for the young folk over there, Ramen Place, that'd be okay. And then maybe it'll just be a case of increasing the beauty, possibly. So let's go here. They like more pork, don't they? So let's do that. So that'll do. How are we doing for our goals? Um, yeah, still not got reached two out of three young villagers because I don't know what that means, but okay. Um, and then we'll add a building. Got loads and loads of money. So if we add another modern house, or do we have one of those for beauty, actually? Uh, it costs 500 monies to get an onsen in. Okay, let's save up then. Let's save up and get one of those because that might be key to getting it sorted. So yeah, today can just be a bit of an experimental day of seeing if that works over there for the young folks. Yeah, okay, this is fine. Right, where's our friend? Where are you, Tanuki? There are now many places you could be hiding and we've got to go and find you and I can't see you. Um, okay, we've got a while. We've got a while to find them. They could be hidden anywhere at all. Where are they? they oh no, that's rubbish. That's some litter. That's not them. They're on that side of the road normally. So I'm not expecting them kind of over here. Although, am I foolish for thinking that? I'm picking up all the rubbish. But I'm not finding where they are. They're, oh, there they are. They're just there. There they are. Hello. Uh, right, this is all fine. So now we can just crack time on a bit quicker. And again, you just pet the cats and pick up the rubbish and watch time pass by and just, you know, see if everyone's happy. Are you happy over there now? Um, you want more egg. More egg and less pork. Oh, crikey, it's okay. <laughs> you picky people. Um, and, oh uh, yeah, we need the other bookstore as well. The other bookstore might be quite good. Uh, right, let's get through to the end of the day, because that's now imminent. Oh, a bit rubbish, a bit rubbish. Ah, botherations. Oh, there was quite a bit of rubbish left. Never mind. Um, okay, so satisfaction went down a bit. Crikey, it's, it's, it's tricky, this. It's a tricky game. Uh, let's go to there. Less pork, more egg. We're listening to you people. We are listening. Uh, let's upgrade the bookshop for 200 monies to get that, to make it super efficient with a book on the top. And we'll upgrade that park for five beauty. Let's make the park look nice. It's got like a little fence round it now. That's quite lovely. And that can have more elderly residents. Is that going to help in that particular goal there? To reach two out of three young villagers? <laughs> what do you mean reach them? Where are they? I don't get what it is. Um, okay. Uh, or do we upgrade that? Let's, let's upgrade this. We'll, we'll do that. Look, we'll get some more people around. And we've got $9 left. Right, let's begin the day. Find a frame, clean the rubbish and do all the stuff. And then we'll see where we are at the end of the day. Right, the young folk are now okay with the noodles. They seem to be sort of happy enough with those. But they're still not overly delighted about the range of books they have available. So possibly, uh, yeah, let's get another bookshop in, shall we? And see if that helps out. Maybe that'll push the, um, that'll push. Oh, satisfaction is on 80 that's on 80. We just need to know how to reach two out of three young villagers. <laughs> Which I don't understand what it means. Does it just need a load of youth buildings? Is that what it means? So, like, every two of our... Every two of the three population has to be young folks. Is that what that means? I'm not entirely convinced. I don't think it does, and I'm not sure. Right, let's add... Uh, we'll add a house, I think, for now. Let's pop a house in of young people and we'll see if that does something. We'll give it a jazzy roof and we'll make it look a bit like that. Yep, yeah, that will do. And then if we can upgrade it to get five more in. So what does that look like now? Um, oh, it's not kind of reflected that just yet. Okay, right. So begin the day. There is our friend already, which is brilliant. Uh, we'll fly through to the end of the day. And then we'll see if that's had any bearing on the numbers. There's a cat there. There's many cats around. Crikey, lots of cats. They love cats. Um, right, so yeah, we'll work our way through this. We'll clean up all the rubbish. Plenty of that around as well at the minute. Dropping into the gutters and things. Keep an eye on that. And uh, oh, there's a cat. There's a cat. There's a cat. Pet the cat. Um, and then, yeah, let's just see what we can do at the end of the day then. 
because it is ticking up pretty quick. I don't think there's a bit of rubbish right in the middle there, bother. Um, okay, satisfaction went back down, but we still haven't reached two out of three young, vill uh, young villagers. So I think we need more youths. Right. So now let's build another modern house. Um, yeah, do that then, please. And we'll make that a completely different colour. There we go. That's quite nice. And then we'll upgrade that as well for five villagers. Thank you. I can't work out if that's like two out of three being the youth there. Um, but that'll do. And then let's... Can we upgrade anything? We'll add a beauty point onto that. Just because that makes it look a bit nicer. And then we'll begin the day. And then I think maybe... The following day, we'll add the, um, let's grab that for stars, we'll add a bookshop. We'll add a bookshop and put the other books in that that one doesn't have. Okay, big pile of money. Let's add a lovely building. Let's go to a bookstore. Okie doke. Right, so get that in and we'll give it one of the big kind of round roofs and it can look like that again because that's quite good. Um, and then it was all those ones there, wasn't it? So again, just pop the profit up a little bit like that. Um, so yeah, so the first one's got the comic book, language book and novels in. And this one's going to have fantasy novels, manga and travel guides in. But yeah, okay, right, that's fine. We'll do that then. And then, yeah, we'll do that thing as well, just to make a little bit more money out of it. And then 256 money's left. Um, I don't think we can do too much with it. So begin the day, grab our Tanuki friend there. Hello. And then again, run time on super quickly. The street is now quite long. <laughs> it's quite a long street now. There's a cat. Hello, cat. Um, right, so again, keep an eye on the litter. And then we'll come back and we'll see if we then just need to keep adding sort of, uh, yeah, young folk housing. Uh, satisfaction, I think, is ticking up, which is good. That's quite good for us. So yeah, if we could just get some more young folk in, that would probably help us out quite a bit. There's a lot of litter around. There's a lot of litter about the place. Oh, there's a bit there that I didn't quite get. Oh, we missed some cats as well. It's because time's flying through. Ah, we've now reached two out of three young villagers. All we need is 1% satisfaction. So yeah, now look, they're not going to bookstore one. Uh, that's the old folks. They're going to bookstore two, which we're going to call bookstore two. We like that look because we're exciting like that. So yeah, okay. So I think maybe could we now just up the beauty a little bit because we're okay for everything else and you know in terms of in terms of what they've got on offer they seem quite happy so add a building let's add an onsen because they're really expensive we couldn't do it before so we'll add one of those oh we get to choose the roof as well on that one let's have a slopey roof and that can clearly be geek of a corporate colors because why we choose anything else right so we'll go for that and I've got 300 money left. Uh, we'll add a beauty point to it because why not? Okay, so 30 beauty as well. Uh, right, let's begin the day. And I think if we get up to 80% satisfaction, then we will be done and that'll be wonderful. Uh, ah, there we go. There's our friend. We're on 80. Okay, we need to maintain that then. So if we maintain 80%, we will be done. How are you supposed to do that with only eight buildings? I don't know. Is it just using lots of cutting upgrades? Uh, we added, what did we add? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We added ten buildings. <laughs> we didn't quite meet the goal of eight buildings, but never mind, never mind. I still think we did okay. 81% uh, now. There's a little bit of a cushion there, which is good. Um, yeah, okay, right. I'm going to cheap ramen, yay! And I just went to cheap ramen, yay. I would like more noodle. Oh, okay. We can try and oblige. How are you? Oh, the street looks pretty. A little more decoration would make it perfect. I'd love to add things actually out on the street, like little sort of benches or, you know, I mean, they've got bicycle things going on, but little sort of benches or trees or like little sort of fancy lighting or something like that. I don't know if that's part of you know, the plan for the full game. I'm not quite sure, but that would be good if we could do that. I'd quite like that. Let's move time on a bit quicker, shall we? Let's get this done. Look at that. The people are loving it round here. 84%, 85% satisfaction. And we've got money rolling in as well. Yeah, this is looking good. This is looking very good. 
Uh, there's a bit of rubbish over there that I can spot. Let's clean that up. There's a bit right there. That's quite cunningly hidden, isn't it? There's a bit just there as well. Any more? Any more for any more? Oh, there's a bit there. There's a bit there. There's a bit there. Grab that. Grab that banana skin. Don't fall over it. And there we go. Youth and elderly completed in 14 days. Great job. This neighborhood feels a lot livelier now. And there we go. That's the demo done. I did have a sneaking sort of feeling there might have been another thing there. I thought there might be three levels to go through, but no, that's kind of it for now. So yeah, the full game releases in, what, just about three weeks time-ish on February the 28th with more buildings, five missions and a sandbox mode. Imagine the sandbox mode. You can just go and customise all the things and just, you know, just play and make a lovely street how you want it to be. I'd love to know what the more buildings are. I'm intrigued. I'm very intrigued. But do you know what? Yeah, that was lovely. That was that was really lovely. What a lovely, fun game. Uh, we'll go back to the menu. I don't think we can go back to the actual street. I think we have to go back to the menu. But uh, there we go. So, yeah, we did pretty well. Was that 86% satisfaction at the end? Oh, look. Sand you can customise the cats in Sandbox. I didn't really register that in the corner there when we were looking at the menu before. But no, look. You can customise the cats as well. So, uh, so, yeah, that was a lot of fun. That was really good. And it's, yeah, it's sort of quite laid back. It does have those goals in it that you have to try and achieve. Yeah, there's some main goals and your optional goals. But, yeah, as it goes, there's nothing shouting at you saying, you need to do this, do it quicker, do it better. You just sort of put some buildings down, see how it goes, tidy up, everything looks lovely. And then just, you know, next day comes around, you put down another building and you go from there. And it's really nice. It's really nice. It's really lovely. It's very friendly and laid back and sort of, you know, quite quite chilled out and quite calm. And there is a raccoon. Hopefully it's a raccoon. I apologise if you're not a raccoon. <laughs> I'm going to feel very silly if it's not. There's going to be many people in the comments saying, clearly it's a blah, blah, blah. Clearly it's a tanuki, which might actually be a thing. Is that actually a thing? Hang on, I need to go and Google whether a tanuki is an actual thing. Oh no. Oh, botherations, it is. A tanuki is a Japanese raccoon dog. So I was still right in sort of saying it was a raccoon. Just I wasn't quite right on the particular type of raccoon. Okay, yeah, so it's a Japanese raccoon dog. So we have our Japanese raccoon dog tanuki friend as well, who is quite fun, like just sort of wiggling about. So yeah, I think the full game... It's going to be more of what we've seen there, but just with you know, different styles of things and different buildings and everything else, just to you know, mix it up a little bit. And if that looks like your thing, if you want to just you know pick up a relatively free-flowing, quite laid-back, very chilled-out game, then uh, yeah, maybe Manami Lane or Manami Lane, not quite sure how you say it, but yeah, maybe this game is for you because I've had a lovely time with the demo. And uh, yeah, as we did say, the demo is available on Steam right now. There is a link to the Steam Store page in the video description so you can go and have a little look and play the demo and just see if you want to have a little go at the game when it goes into full release at the end of the month. But I think we will wrap things up for now. Hopefully you have enjoyed this. If you have, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other bits and bobs and nonsense that we get up to in the Geek Cupboard. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I'll see you next time. There we go the king and kettle. It's this it's Rob the God. Rob the God he's a hero. He is Rob the God he's got a feather in his cap. He's got a beard. This could be the planty room. <laughs> we could have so many plants. Hang on <laughs> I feel like there's a book here to be written. We've got the executioner and the nun. <laughs>